name's Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. Um, I worked for the IRS over what, a decade. I've worked thousands of cases. I'm a national expert in IRS tax resolution matters. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Me and my man, my M&M &M man color coordinated. We uh, give you a huge, huge welcome. Um, my YouTube, I kind of open the curtain up and show you what goes on inside IRS. You're going to listen to a lot of YouTubes from a lot of different people, and they're going to say, gee, we worked a number of cases against IRS, and this is how they operate. Well, that's not actually how IRS operates. It's how IRS operates on the cases they worked. But I'm telling you as a teaching instructor, actually how IRS works cases. Uh, not only was I a teaching instructor, I taught other people. I taught the Offer and Compromise program at IRS, so you can believe what I'm telling you. Today I want to talk to you about filling out IRS financial statements and what's really, really important. If you're filling out a 433A, uh, that's the uh, financial statement the RO uses, or 433F, the financial statement the service center uses, or the 433B, the business financial statement that the RO uses, a couple important information tips that you have to have. Okay. First of all, you can select the period of time you want to put down on the financial statement. You didn't know that, but you can. You can use the last three, six, or nine months or last year. My guess is if you're smart, you use the worst period of time, not the best period of time. You don't want to show IRS necessarily you're doing well. So maybe the last three months is what you want to use or the last six months or the last nine months. That's tip number one. It's the biggest tip. It's the golden tip. Use the period of time that you want. Number two, really big tip. Use the strength values for values of things that you have. If your house average median is around 300,000, for instance, maybe your house is only worth 270. Uh, maybe you want to get comps showing your house is not worth so much. So there's not as much equity. Maybe you need a uh, your roof needs repair. Maybe there's cracks. And if you fixed it up and with your realtor commission out, there's not as much equity left out. You may want to then account for fluctuations in incomes and let IRS know that. That financial statement is your financial piece of canvas to show IRS what's really going on in your life. That is a critical document because IRS will use, make their determination on that financial statement. So number one, use the strength values. Don't use the highest values. Make sure you use the period of time that suits you best. Third, you want to make sure you document everything you can. Make sure everything matches up. Every bill, every check that you sent, every bank statement, you want to make sure. Number four, that's really big. It's not even mentioned on the form, but this is a huge tip. Understand this tip. If things are going on in your life that you got stacked up medical bills, stacked up dental bills, all these bills are stopping up credits, da da da. Show IRS, even though they don't ask for it on the form, let IRS know what's really going on. And if you can send a cover letter in to the person reviewing your case to let them know what's really going on in your life, that goes a long, long way. As a former IRS agent, if I just looked at financial statements all day long, how would I know what's really going on in your life? Put a little cover letter saying, hey, this is the reality of what's going on. Make yourself real. Don't make yourself black and white. Don't make yourself ink and paper. Make yourself seem real and let them know the different maladies. You may have a medical problem. You may have a job problem. Become alive to the agent. That's the correct way to fill financial statements out so IRS will see the reality of what's going on and not see you as Cinderella. By the way, if you like what I'm saying, I need subscription. It pushes me up among others because I try to give you the information IRS wants, subscriptions and likes. And it, please comment if you want me to go ahead and, and add stuff or do whatever and make a YouTube. Tell me. I will do this. I'm here for you. I just want to let you know what I am. If you have a large collection problem, I'm always available. I'm always here. Please subscribe. I appreciate you, and I'm happy to answer any question you want. Thank you.